untold, truth hiding, in plain sight. From the kingdom of Cush, to the today Ethiopia. One the largest ethnic group in East Africa today, they were existed as a community of people for thousands of years in East Africa. Available information clearly indicates, that the land of Kush, Nubia, or, the ancient Ethiopia, in Middle, and Lower Nile, was the home of the Cushitic speakers. It's from there, that they subsequently dispersed, and became differentiated, into separate linguistic and cultural groups. According to Marjorie Perrin, 1948 British historian and writer on African affairs, the emigrant Semites, landed in a continent of which the northeast appears to have been inhabited by the eastern groups of Hamites, often called Cushites. The various Cushitic nations, inhabiting northeast and east Africa today, are the result of this dispersion and differentiation. The Oromo, form one of the main groups with all tradition, and culture of Kushites, starting from Nubia, spreading southwards, and then east and west, occupying large part of the Horn of Africa today. Their strong physical features, unique culture, language, and other evidences, unequivocally point to the fact that they are indigenous to this part of Africa. <laughs> Many historians, have clearly mentioned, that the ancient Egypt land black KMT or Kemet, was stolen from native African peoples, or the ancient Oromo ethnic group. The untold truth, hiding in plain sight, is that the land Egypt today was taken by brutal force, and subterfuge by European, and pale Arabs, of that time. So Egypt has a very long and an interesting history, but the Ottomans land really is Egypt. Egypt is the Ottomans land. Egypt was taken from, from ancient Ottomans, even the linguistic evidence, because I was surprised too in doing some linguistic study. In fact, now I even want to learn Oromifa. That's why I want to learn Oromifa, to get it right, how they say it. I like to learn that, because it's a melodical linguistic search. There are several groups of people in East Africa very closely related to the Oromo today. For instance, the Afar, and Somalis, are very similar to Oromo, in their appearance and culture. The fact that the Somali, Afar and Oromo languages share between 30% and 40% of their vocabulary could be an indication that these groups of people became differentiated very recently. Other Cushitic speaking groups living in the same neighborhood, who are closely related to the Oromo, are Konso, Sidama, Kambata, Durasa, Ago, Seho, Baja and many other groups. The Abyssinian history, about the arrival of the Oromo people, in the 16th century in East Africa from outside, is a fabrication and denial of historical facts. It is a myth created by Abyssinian court historians, and monks, sustained by their European supporters, and which the Ethiopian rulers used to lay claim on Oromo territory, and justify their colonization over the Oromo people. However, several authorities, and historic evidences have indicated, that the Oromo were in fact in the northeastern part of the continent before the arrival of the Habasha. This short documentary is brought to you by, Isaac Mo from Bull Tomb Media. If you want to understand, today, you have to search, yesterday. We are not makers of history. We are made, by, history. Hey.